Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today I am currently in Page, Arizona, picking up a trailer at Walmart, uh, and we will be taking it all the way to Phoenix, Arizona. So, without further ado, oh, very quickly I changed a little modification to the truck, which I might not keep because I just noticed that that's actually floating. Um, I put a little light bar on top and got rid of the very top. Uh, it's kind of just the cutoff shelf. It doesn't have that wind diffuser on the very top of the truck anymore. Um, I kind of like the chop top, but I don't know if I like that light bar, at least not there, just because it's floating. But it looks pretty cool when it's on, like a little LED pattern. I like LEDs for some reason, so I was like, why not? Let's throw this random thing in the game. So anyway, let's go ahead and pick up our trailer. There was no loads leaving the Grand Canyon, so that's why I'm here in Page. It was just the next place down the road, and I wanted to get to a mod shop for the truck as well so it just worked out i figured i'll go to page probably get a better load uh, that is totally the wrong trailer that i'm attempting to pick up from <laughs> which is just not gonna do all right so oh these big old stacks this is gonna be difficult nope i'm making contact but it's not the right kind i don't think this is gonna be it either I think we're very off. This truck is very long. So it's so hard to... Ugh. So hard to, uh... Try to finagle this thing in the right way. Nope, still gotta come over a little more. Alright. So, this looks like it could be it. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and do a pull test real quick. There we go. All right, so we're connected. We'll go ahead and connect the trailer. There goes the landing gear. Uh, and there's that trailer, that amazing 53 foot. So today we will be hauling 20,000 pounds of computers to charged in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh God, I did not. <laughs> I well, thought I was going to clear that pole. Didn't think it was actually going to be that much in the way. How much of... Oh, well, I guess kind of the bull bar caught it. I really thought I was going to clear that, but I didn't. So, uh, we'll be making about $7,800. And we have about 10 hours to complete the job. The trip itself is going to be relatively short. 306 miles. 7 hours and 58 minutes. Should be getting there around seven, uh, Saturday at 7.40 p.m., and it's currently Saturday at about 11.45 p.m. or a.m., so... Nope, we actually have to make a left. I was too busy <laughs> focusing on trying to get the back of that trailer that you could barely see back there. Woo woo woo! Sorry, guy. Obviously, I'm having some troubles. Do you mind not going? Because then I would be stuck in the street, and that wouldn't be very good. I'm going to be stuck in the street regardless, but... Well, kind of. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to where I needed to go. I made the wrong turn. Okay. Try to maneuver ourselves out of this city if we can. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's a California Highway Patrol in Arizona. So that's a little strange. So yeah, a couple things. Uh, MHA did actually update um, to the version of ATS that I'm on, which is uh, 1.3. So it did update, but um, unfortunately, whoever decided... Whoever makes the mod decided that it should be a thing where people should have to register to his website to be able to download it. And also some people in the comments were talking about how he was asking money as well for it. So I don't really know what the situation is going on with that, but I'm not really wanting to sign up for a site that just to download a mod. You know, I don't want to make a whole, I don't want to register an account just for a mod download so I'm not gonna sign up for that and then the whole talks of for at some point he's asking for money I'm I don't support that at all um, well it's not that I don't support people doing what they want to do to get money that's not that it's just I don't know I think when you start making if you're gonna make paid mods come out of come out of the gate first step paid mods like don't make any free mods at all don't don't take a free mod and then make it into a paid mod where you're going to start charging people for it because 
that's where it just kind of sucks because the people that actually enjoy it and like it and have been sharing it and showing it and everything don't really get to use it because they're not I don't I don't want to pay for a mod for a video game like what that doesn't make any sense I want the community is supposed to make mods for the community for free for fun for the sake of the game for the sake of improving it and MHA was a huge thing it really did improve it I really like the changes that it made but if it is true which I'm not sure if it is because I didn't go through the whole process like some people said they did in the comments but I don't know I just don't think that you should be you should give out a, you should give out a free mod and then at some point decide that you want to start making money from it and then start charging that just doesn't make sense if you want to do that from day one that's a different thing because I would have never tried it out in the first place so I wouldn't have cared about it or at, you know whatever so I don't know I just it just doesn't make sense to me it's the same with GTA 4 and people wanting to do paid stuff there it just doesn't it just ruins the whole aspect of modding and what modding is supposed to be uh, and the Steam Workshop and all that stuff. If you're trying to get money and no one else is, and they're putting their hard work into mods that are just as good or possibly even better, you know, it's just, I don't know. Um, but, so, MHA is pretty much gone for now. Um, I might get it back one day. I don't know. We'll see what happens with this whole thing. If this person still decides that they want to sell it or, you know, still decides that you have to register to download it or anything like that. I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll play it by year. But for now, I'm enjoying Arizona as it is. Not that big of a deal without MHA. Um, and eventually we'll work our way back into California and uh, Nevada just because, you know, Arizona's awesome, but you can only be here for so long before you kind of want to get back to some of the old routes and everything. But that hasn't happened yet. I'm going to Phoenix right now. Uh, just so I can experience... Oh, we were going a little bit slow and there's a guy behind us. Uh, I'm going to Phoenix now to experience the big city, right? Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix is the capital of Arizona, isn't it? Could be wrong about that. I don't know. But I'm going to Phoenix, Arizona, which should be pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the city looks like, what the skyline looks like. Never been there in real life, but I don't know. Don't really... Uh, I want to see... You know what I want? I can't wait for Colorado. I've heard that Colorado have ha has had, or has, uh, the best driving roads in America. Like, some of the smoothest, you know, taken care of roads. I don't know, that could be false, but that's what I've heard. It sounds amazing. Um, also just the curviness of the roads, because you're in the mountains, you know, you get nice curvy roads that are paved really nice, like, just awesome place to drive. Could be true, could not be true, but... I like to believe it is. Never been to Colorado, always wanted to go. But that'll be cool to see in American Truck Sim. Oh, also, another big thing with American Truck Sim, if for those of you that don't keep as up to date, like myself, which I actually don't get up to date, but a lot of people, you know, tweet me and stuff and write me and tell me all these things that are going on. So I appreciate it because without that, I really, there's so many games that I'm supposed to keep on top of all the time. It's just, you can never know. Oh God, we're entering a city, okay. Entering a city at 25 miles an hour. Not sure what city. Oh, we're going through Flagstaff. Okay. Flagstaff, Arizona. So, yeah. Um, I just... Uh, God, I can't remember what the hell I was just talking about. Oh, big thing with American Truck Sim. So, American Truck Sim, uh, or SDS Software, announced that they're going to do a massive uh, upscaling of American Truck Sim. Uh, which is really, really cool. For free. And they're not going to charge anything... Uh, it's just going to be something that they've decided to do. So, uh, the current scaling of American Truck Sim is one, uh, one thirty-fifths, I believe, is how you how you would say something like that when it comes to scaling. Because um, I know it's like one sixteenth and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure it's one thirty-fifths of the scale of real life, which is uh, you know relatively small as we know from driving around in American Truck Sim. Um, and, Amer and European Truck Sim is 120th. So they're going to go from 135th with a, with American Truck Sim and take uh, European Truck Simulator scaling and make that for American Truck Sim. So they're both going to be 120th scale, which is a lot bigger. Um, whoop. Okay. <laughs> it's not a sound you want to hear. All right, dude, pick a lane. You're going to go left or you're not. But yeah, so uh, they're going to do an upscaling. They said it's going to take a very long time. It's going to be a very big process, but they're going to make the map bigger for free, which is awesome. So I'm super excited for that. They're going to make the distance like 
I think practically right now, uh, the distance, the, the it, it, try to picture this in your head. This is going to be a very strange thing to try to picture, and I'm going to try to paint it as much as I can in your mind, but it's probably still not going to work, but you could probably just go Google the images that they showed, but if you're too lazy and you just want to hear me describe it, then fine, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so they, um, think of between out Los Angeles and San Francisco in the current um, configuration that American Truck Sim is now. Actually, take all of California with the way American Truck Sim is right now. The entire state of California, from top to bottom. With the new scaling, the entire state of California will practically fit in between, uh, like, Los Angeles and San Francisco. Maybe not that dramatic, but it's pretty close. So that way you can get a pretty good distance on how far it's going to take to actually drive across California now, like top to bottom, because that takes a very long time in real life. And in the game, in the simulator, it doesn't take that much long at all, remotely near that long. And I remember there's many times in European truck simulator where I would be on these massive trips for these very long time. Uh, and I haven't yet to experience that in American Truck Simulator. And I always said that that was, ah, oh, it's just because it's the map. You know, there's two, there's two states, so you can't really, you can't really go that far. In European Truck Simulator, there's Germany, France, Italy, uh, Poland, um, all types of areas that you can go into. The UK, it was huge. So you could do those super long journeys and feel like you went on a really long trip but with american truck sim i was just like oh well, there's california nevada it's not even you know <laughs> it's not even multiple countries that's just two states so i was like yeah of course it's not going to be that big but when i actually jumped in there and played and was you know experiencing it i was just thinking yeah, it's just it's it's a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be um and ses kind of it, it makes sense I, I understand what they said that they were trying to do. You know, when they first started developing American Truck Simulator, they were a very small company, not many people. Um, so they didn't want to go too crazy. You can't build a game that you don't have enough resources to make. Otherwise, that would just be practically pointless. Um, oh, God, driving off the road here, getting distracted. Because, um, yeah, you can't overdevelop a game because otherwise it'll take forever to make. It'll never come out. You know, it's just you got to kind of get realistic so at one point they got realistic and they decided on a scaling but they said that their company is growing a lot and they're getting more people in and they're getting a bunch of people helping out with american truck sim and all that stuff and a lot of people came off of uh, ets2 working with um doing like dlcs and stuff like that like going north or going east or whatever dlcs that they've done um so people are coming off doing that and i think well, I think that people are coming off and doing that. I don't really know, but I, I know that they said a lot of more, a lot more people are working on American Truck Sim now, so that they've already started on the rescaling. It's going to take quite some time, which makes sense. But they did say that eventually it'll get to the point where just everybody will have a bigger scaling of the world for free, which is awesome and really really cool. That they they decided, hey, you know what? We can take this on, and uh, even they said in their post that it was a do now or don't do type of situation. It was something where they just had to get it done now before the world got even bigger than it already is or don't touch it and leave it the way it is and just continue building the world. And they thought, before we make this thing crazy, because if they want to make this the entire US, that's going to be a pretty crazy task. But I think they were thinking, before we make this crazy, let's make this bigger and then make it crazy. Because with that scaling, oh, I cannot imagine in a couple years, how long it's going to take to drive from New York to California. Like, that's just going to be... The, the different landscapes that are going to come into play with that is going to be amazing. And I would love for them to start working on uh, seasons. I know they've always said seasons have been a thing that they've really wanted to do. And obviously, you know, they're very limited with that. But I think it would be cool to kind of integrate something with... Um, like your computer, you know, the, the months that you are in in real life, you know. So if you're in June or July or something like that, it's going to be hot. It's going to be sunny all the time. It's not going to rain much. And uh, if you're in December, it's going to be cold. And if you're in December on the East Coast and it's 
you know, it seems like it's going to rain. Maybe it'll snow. Like, that's just, you know, that would be amazing. Oh, God. We're going to have to go right here. We're going to have to go right. Oh, God. Thank God he doesn't have a trailer. Ooh, car. Oh, God. God, I'm hitting shit. Damn it. Sorry. Not from around here. have no idea what I'm doing. Look at this. Interchange. This is craziness. Arizona, you guys got to figure something out. This is not right. Look at that GPS. That can't be... Come on, that's way too many... How do you... How does anybody get anywhere? That's just... It seems super confusing. Okay, this lane just merges immediately into another lane. Which is now then doing 22 miles an hour for some reason. Alright, sure. Why not? Whatever. <laughs> Where are we? Are we in Phoenix yet? I don't think we are. We got to get over, I believe. No, we don't. We get to exit and go down another another uh, interchange to a different area. I don't know what highway we're currently on at all. Oh, we are on the westbound 10, and we're going southbound on the 8. No idea where that's at. Uh, Tucson, Arizona is kind of the direction that we're headed, I guess. All right. I'm not sure how far away we are. Oh, we're actually only 22 miles, so we're going to get there relatively quickly. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. I've seen all these interchanges, but I haven't gone over the top. And I believe that was the top one. We didn't drive under anything. So that was the very top. That was the highest point. That's crazy. Uh, we have kind of... We have some things like that in the Bay Area. Well... Not really. We have some things like that in California, but not really in the Bay Area. Like very big, tall freeway uh, interchanges and stuff like that. But then again, I don't know. Every time anybody visits from out of state, a good example is when Jeff came from Missouri and uh, visited California. And I picked him up and uh, we were driving around. He would, you know, was always commenting on uh, how terrible the uh, the driving seemed out here. <laughs> Just how many people there is, how fast everybody's going, how many lanes there is, how many... All this stuff, so... I don't know. I guess if you're just used to it, you're used to it. Then again, I think Missouri is more of just kind of two-lane, huge median shoulders, just two lanes going one direction, you know? And then you got a huge median, then two more lanes going the other direction, so... I don't know. I guess it's just whatever you're, you're used to. So, we're pulling into Charged, though, which Charged looks like Best Buy... Is that what charge is supposed to be? Is charge supposed to be Best Buy? I gotta go park this in the back. Delivery only. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, computers. This is a bunch of computers. Look at that Vic. That Vic life. I love seeing those. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go and see how difficult this back end is gonna be. Let's see how long we're gonna... Oh. Interesting. This is not the setup that I would imagine. Don't be. It's on the other side of this Walmart trailer. On the other side of this Walmart 53 foot trailer. Don't, you know, we're literally right there. Okay, well, this might not be the worst. Might not be the worst. Give it a shot. Okay. I think we can. Get this relatively easy. As long as I don't slap my microphone. I think we're gonna clear that. Yep, we're gonna clear that. So, just trying to get ourselves in the general area. Ooh. I guess we're back against the. all the way, huh? Uh, yeah, seems like it. Yeah, just get ourselves in the general area, and then we can just kind of precision back it in, which it looks like we're actually pretty lined up as it is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Boom! I'm happy with that right there. I didn't even put my flashers on. Damn it. Take a look at this drop-off. That looks pretty cool. Wow. Kind of, like, dead on with that drop-off point. Turn on these overly bright beacons. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and drop our trailer. Let's see how we did. We don't need the blinker on. 
So 303 miles, six hours, 17 minutes, 44.9 gallons of fuel. We got 7,800 dollars and 448 xp about halfway through level 21 so we're getting there but uh i might go ahead and take this light bar off i don't really know <laughs> or move it back one position i'm not sure if i'm going to keep that but uh go ahead and check all the mods in the description uh that i'm using in this episode if you're interested in modding your own game also remember to hit the like button it really does help me out thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye